Okay, here we are to find a vertex focus and directrix of a parabola. In order to do that, it's going to be helpful to put this in our standard parabolic form. So that's going to involve, since this is a y squared parabola, us trying to get this into this form, y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. That would be our goal form for this, which means I want to complete the square on y. So I'm going to group my y terms. I'm going to leave a blank. I'm going to subtract 8x on both sides, and I'm going to subtract 25. Now, if there were a lead coefficient other than 1 in front of the y squared, I would divide that away on both sides right now. Okay, so I see that I want to complete the square on the y, so I'm going to take half of this term and square it plus 9. However, I just added 9 to the left side, making this equation out of balance. So I'm going to add 9 to the right side and put it back in balance. At that point, I've got a perfect square on the left. I've got y plus 3 squared equals on the right negative 8x minus 16, or y plus 3 squared equals factor out a negative 8, not because I can, but because I have to. Negative 8 times x, careful, plus 2. And I may even want to look at this as y plus 3 squared equals 4 times negative 2 times x plus 2. Okay, and you may be really good at finding the vertex fo focus and directrix without graphing, but I'm going to go ahead and sketch this graph right here. I do notice this is a y-squared parabola, so it's going to open to the right or left. I notice ultimately that the value of p is negative, so it's going to open in a negative direction. It's going to open left, and I note that my vertex is my my vox my voi, most interesting value of x negative 2, most interesting value of y, negative 3. So from negative 2, negative 3, I need to be opening to the left. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of room to the left and down. So at negative 2, negative 3, there is my vertex. I know I'm going to be opening like this, I'll fit the size to that in just a little bit. Therefore, my p-value tells me where my focus is. It tells me where my directrix is. The curve is going to wrap around the focus, putting the focus two to the left. My focus is at negative four, negative three. My directrix two to the right is the line x equals 0. And now, as far as if we were to be sketching this, because I've got the answers to this question as it, as it exists right now, if we were to be sketching this, here's how I control the height. The, the definition of a parabola says it's the set of all points equal distance from a fixed point, the focus, and the directrix. And I notice that my focus right here is four steps from the directrix, so I'm just going to go up four. One, two, three, four. Put a point for my parabola, and I'm going to go down four. Put a point for my parabola, and that's how I control the width of the parabola. I pass through those two points, okay? because I know that this distance right here is equal to this distance right there. They're both four.